Let's take a deeper look at Michael Mayers. First and foremost, he's six foot four and a half, two hundred and fifty pounds, and he's a leader. He is one of the leaders for the Notre Dame with 18 career touchdowns, average close to 12 yards per catch, a willing blocker, inline blocker, and he will get nasty with it, finish the plays, maybe a little late with his hands as far as blocking, but he come back to the ball, got soft hands, and he got the short area quickness that you will love to see. Now, as far as separation, he's not going to get a lot of that out of his game, but you will get a guy that will come back to greet the ball with his hands, soft hands, and that leader aspect of it, he would not go down without a fight. He brings all of that to the table. Now, a few comps that a lot of people have been saying is Jason Witten, Kyle Rudolph, maybe. You can look at it from that aspect of it. They call him Baby Gronk. Now, I don't see that much out of his game. Well, we all know that when you get to the next level, a lot of things can change. Now, when you look at him, you will say, all right, six foot four and a half. Of course, Gronk was like six foot six, athletic, crazy guy, right? But when you look at his tape, you will clearly see that the short area quickness is there and he come back and greet the ball with his hands. Now, when you start thinking about Jason Witten, third round draft pick, right? That's more of the lane that I would love to see Michael Mayers. Nevertheless, People got him coming out of, of the first round out of the draft. Cowboys, by the way, at the 26th spot. Now, that will be a situation in a scenario that if the Cowboys find a way to get Michael for this particular team, you will have to look back and say, you got Jake Ferguson, you got Peyton Hendershot. Why on earth would you need another tight end? Well, the great Bill Parcells said, when you think you're great at a spot, draft again. Now, the Cowboys could utilize Michael with the 13 personnel as well as 14 personnel. That was very unique. They shot away from it. They didn't showcase it a lot. And some plays from Kelly Moore, although he's gone, you can utilize some of those. Michael with Jake Ferguson, as well as with Peyton Hendershot. He's a willing blocker. He helps out in the second levels of your team as it relates to finding a soft spot and covering some of those areas. He is a wide tight end. Why not have that in this particular scheme? (laughs) West Coast offense will work well with his skill set. So I look at a lot of positives. I look at what Mike McCarthy did before with his tight ends. Not saying that you have to target those guys, but they can be utilized in the backfield in short areas for your team. Post me your thoughts. Post me your concerns down below. Hey, Michael Mayers, fantastic skill sets. I like what I see out of him. That's been my time. I really thank you all for yours. DC for life. Salute.